you don't want to look yourself in the eye and admit that maybe you're part of the problem. So let's change the problem. Welcome back to part two, where this guy is still a fucking cancer. I have voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. Bullshit. So we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about how you get to whitewash this whole thing and make it go away by by paying money. This isn't about money. It's about changing the way you act and the way you think. This, the the next argument that I hear is, oh, well, this is actually a movement about journalistic ethics. You see, because game magazine reviewers who review video games and encourage other people to buy them are apparently getting paid to do that. It seems to me you don't even understand on how ethics and journalism even works. Allow me to explain. The people who are supporting Zoe Quinn are very close friends with Zoe Quinn. Not to mention that we have all these gaming journalists teaming up together, having a small hangout where they chat together to find a way, the best way to not only support themselves, but to support Zoe Quinn and to attack all fucking gamers. In other words, we're not playing offense, we're playing defense. No shit. Been that way since video game magazines started. Movie magazines are the same way. Any kind of product review, other than the consumers reports people, any kind of product review, generally the reviewers getting compensated for doing it. If nothing else, they're getting free product. Right? So there's always an exchange there. The question is, is when does that exchange become appropriate? But the thing is, is this guy starts a rumor that this woman, of course, has always got to be, was sleeping with game reviewers to get positive reviews for her games. You know what? So what if she did? That statement is so fucking stupid, I have no comeback for that. It's just, wow. Fucking stupid. So what if she did? If you had $10,000 to go out and spend on advertising for your game, and somebody said, well, if you give me your $10,000, I'll put a good review in my magazine about it, and you'll sell $100,000 worth of games, you would do that. So even if you stipulate that what was alleged to have happened actually did, which I don't believe for a second, but let's just give you the benefit of that doubt and break the argument down. Even if it did, so what? Don't tell me about compromising journalistic ethics in fucking game reviewing. There's no such thing that ever has been. Oh, the game journalism industry. <sighs> Dude, you sound like you're fucking tired from just walking back and forth. Stay in one fucking place for Christ's sake. If that really tires you off, just stay in one place or even better sit the fuck down like what i'm doing and face the fucking camera you don't have to walk back and forth like if you're you know waiting for something okay dude just that's not that, that's their job is to sell video games guys it's not to you know make you feel good <laughs> they sell games and then the advertisers who own those games buy advertising in their magazines. It's in their best interests to sell more video games. So then they sell more advertising. So then they can hire more people to write more articles, to sell more video games, to sell more advertising. It's the way it's always been. There is no scandal here. This is not a new discovery. You are not intrepid social warriors jumping into the midst of the fray of the great ethical question of our time. So you can back off that bullshit because you're the only one that's buying it. Now this isn't to say that it's not a problem that this conflict of interest exists. I'm not trying to put that over. You know, it's, it's, it's the way that it's been for a long time and the way that the system is set up. There's no question that that's a conflict of interest and, and that it's a problem, but it's also not a new problem. Uh, these, these uh, you know, magazines, any reviewer of any kind of product has an incentive to put that product over because they're buying advertising from the people who sell that product. Right? If they make money, you make money. That's just the nature of the beast. There's no way around it. Is that a good thing? Is that something that somebody should be doing something about? Sure, yeah, fine, but it doesn't have anything to do with 
some guy got his her feelings hurt by his girlfriend, stick the internet on her, and now there are, you know, dozens of women, hundreds of women maybe, you know, and I'm sure plenty that, that you know, aren't directly participating who have, you know, this, this, uh, this feeling of not being welcome and, and being harassed. And this, this has nothing to do with fucking money, okay? And these women who feel uncomfortable... These women are the same women who are spying out such such fucking nonsense about how video games are sexist, on how the gaming industry is anti-female, and how we, the people who support these video games, the people who call ourselves gamers, we're not criticizing their opinions, we're attacking their fucking gender. And we don't want women in video games. That's to them. That, that's according to them. That's how they see us, the gamers. Which is totally fucking bullshit. Being put upon and being jumped and being pushed out. And they're pissed. And they got every right to be pissed. I'm pissed for them. So the reason that this is a problem is because ultimately it reinforces this sort of centralized, monopolistic, oligarchic structure in the game society. And you can go through this whole big, you know, political, social analysis of the gaming industry and so on and so forth. And well, if it's only the companies that can afford to pay for their advertising who are able to get the good advertising, so you freeze out the smaller indie developers because, of course, they don't have the time or the money to do that. I get it. I am one, okay? One of the reasons I don't have a bigger audience is because I can't afford to advertise. I understand. Or maybe it's because your videos are fucking shitty. Seriously. What you say is utterly fucking bullshit. Yeah, no fucking wonder why people don't want to watch your shit. Because the things that you say and the things that you do make you sound stupid. But you're getting pissed off at this woman, assuming, again, assuming that it's not all bullshit, which I think it is. You're getting all pissed off at this woman for using the medium of exchange that she had. She didn't offer it to you. That's what you're pissed off about. That's what you're pissed off about because nobody wants to buy your sexual favors to promote your game. Holy fuck is this wrong? Oh. Yeah. You know. It's that. That's what Game of Game is about. We're just extremely jealous that Zoe Quinn can have sex with pretty much any man and have positive reviews. Yeah. Makes sense. Sorry if I'm not showing my face very often in this video, but there's really nothing much I can say about this asshole. Like, the things that he says pretty much just defeats itself. Like, I don't even need to intervene in order to point out on how stupid he is just look what the things he says it's stupid fucking stupid so that is all i have to say for now and this is just a stupid endurance round to see on how long i last until i lose my fucking sanity four more videos i am the atheist gamer pace the game out if you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.